Well, I think it's interesting you bring that up about his sportsmanship as we see a tweet, someone saying that Federer is a legend and that he's the best not only for his game, but his tenacity, sportsmanship, demeanor, and humbleness. That there's That's why there's a lot of talk about why Novak Djokovic is not really fan-friendly because a lot of people are either a Federer fan or a Nadal fan, but Djokovic is up there, one of the big three, has won as much as them, but he really doesn't have as many fans as them. Do you feel that that's because he shows a, a side on the court that is not as graceful and is not as sportsmanship-like as a Rafa and a, and a Fed? Um. I mean, it's funny that you bring th this up because I had a conversation with my friend who's, who's a big Joko fan, and and I think, uh, I mean, everything that's been said, obviously, I, I think you always, obviously, always have to respect him for his talent and his results. At the same time, I don't feel the same energy from him when he speaks after matches and and between the the, the tournaments and everything. I just don't feel it. Um, it's and you know it's everyone's not like that. I, I don't think he's a bad, bad guy or anything like that. I think he's just so focused on on winning, and uh, you know chasing Nadal and Federer the whole time. You have to be. I mean, that's a big compliment if you look at the way he's been winning his Grand Slams compared to maybe Federer and Nadal from the early years. But I don't know. It's 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 hard to say, and and obviously not knowing the guy how he is, but. You can tell a difference in my mind, and, and um, nothing bad towards him. But I, I just think, um, I think Rafa and, and, and Federer is on a on a different level. They're just so special, and it's fun to have polarizing figures and the fact that they have their different personalities and their pros and their cons. Because like you're hanging out talking to your friend, I feel like all of us, even fans that are watching U.S. Open now, everybody has those conversations with their friends. Yeah. You know where they say like, oh no, I'm a Roger guy. Oh, yeah. I'm a Joko guy. No, 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 Rafa's the best. I mean, it's something that connects us all because at the yeah. end of the day, you're a professional athlete. You're also a sports fan. I mean, yeah. you're here as a fan. Yeah. Um, so what is the plan for you now? So do you get to like have a celebratory drink? Or are you in training mode? Will you get some food? Well, how are you, you going to do this tonight? I'm, uh, I'm just going to try to enjoy this as much as possible. Uh, maybe catch the end of this uh, this game going on right now. But uh, my dad is in town right now. So um, wow. I know the signature cocktail is very good. So I might, <laughs> might try one of those. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I yeah. Might, might have to try one of those again. And, uh, but no, uh, focus on, on uh, training camp coming up here soon. And um, the team team feels good. The, the, the new guys coming in. And I think the the whole buzz around the team is is um, is really good. So uh, it's a it's an exciting season we have in front of us. Well, quickly before you go, I know Henrik Lundqvist. He was here a few times. He's a big tennis fan too. And I know you've told me in the past that you guys have played tennis. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? So yeah. how is he? Who wins? Um, well, we played when we were on All Star break, and um, we were at. Turks and Caicos, I believe, uh, and I had no shoes or socks, so uh, I, I played barefoot in like 95 degrees, and uh, my feet were burning. But it was uh, it was actually pretty tight, um, and uh, he's a good player. But uh, obviously, I'm uh, you know. He has everything else. He's the best looking guy, best dressed. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this one away from him right now. So does he go to net? Like, is he, is he a net no, player? No, he, he's a, he's a baseline. He, he has, he has a. Uh, his ground strokes are good. I think. See a pusher? Uh, not really. I would say I'm, I'm the more aggressive one in that sense. Uh, and uh, I don't know. I think in the long run I'll win. Look, he's got a lot going for him. You can just say it here on US Open now. You're better. You're better on the tennis court than Henrik Lundqvist. He's winning at life in many, many other respects. Very true. It's fair. Yes. Well, uh, another question I had for you, I was curious, being that you're a team, you're on a team with a team aspect. Being a team athlete and seeing how these athletes out here are a single athlete, how does that mentality as a professional athlete change? I think... Uh, First of all, you, you, you can't forget that they have a whole team around them, uh, around the players. And, and uh, um, I think, you know, you, you can rely on your teammates a lot more, obviously. Uh, your mistakes can easily be backed up uh, if anything happens. Obviously, you, you, you have your teammates on the ice, you have the goalie. Um, but I think it becomes a more mental thing um, as far as a single athlete, just because that, you know, you a bad game or a bad set can't really affect you in that way and I think that's you know you, you see that the, the top players really have that 
the mental strength of it, and and and, and they're so focused. I mean, you, you can um, you can see, you know, Federer or Joko or Rafa lose a set really bad, but then come back and win six nothing. And and I think that just kind of put the bad thing behind you and put the, the the game or the set behind you and look forward to the next one. I think that's that's a little bit quicker for us it's more of a game the whole game and maybe a couple games or a couple weeks where you kind of have to look forward to the next game all the time and it's so tight in between games but I think it's one match it's win or lose so you have to be able to real quickly forget about it um, or even when things are going for you to kind of push on that momentum and I, I think it's 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 fun to see there are comparables but I think it's the shorter amount of time in tennis rather than hockey. Are you a Diego Schwartzman guy? Do you think he could give Rafa any kind of challenge? Have you seen him play? I, I really hope so, uh, for the sake that I'm here and watching. But uh, <laughs> I really like this game um, against Zverev. Obviously, he had Zverev had a lot of uh, double faults, but um, I like this. I like this style. I, I think they can match. I think, you know, it goes to four or five sets. I, th I, don't, I don't think he's he's going to be able to keep up with the, with Rafa. But um, if he gets off to a good start, I think uh, you know. Uh, things can be uh, shaken up a little bit. Hmm. Well, do you think the big three? Let's talk about the big three here. Do you think that N Nadal will surpass Federer, and do you think Djokovic can surpass them all? Um, yes, and yes. Uh, yeah. What I'm hoping for is to uh, Federer to stay top at the top <laughs> there, obviously. Um, but I mean, that kind of makes it interesting as well, uh, and uh, seeing Joko. Um, out and, and Federer out. Nadal has, you know, um, all the chances right now to really make that happen. But um, I really try to enjoy, since Federer is out, just right, trying to enjoy the tennis and hoping for a really good match. Mm. Thanks for being with us. This was great. Yeah. Thanks for having me. And best of luck in training and then also throughout the next season. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. By the way, get a Honeydew's frozen one. They have a, a right. new kind. Yeah. And right. be careful, Mika. Oh, They're course. very, very Always. strong. Always <laughs>